Salut tout le monde, welcome back to Unintentionally Frenchified. Welcome back to the month and the theme of amour. This week's video is all about flirting in France and I'm gonna talk to you about some of the very specific things about flirting in France because yes, there are some specificities about it. I'm gonna finish off the video with five of my most successful flirty phrases in French. I say flirty like this because I think you'll be surprised at how not exactly cheeky the phrases are as you might think. So stick with me to the end so you can check those. This is the perfect time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't so that you don't miss out on any videos and especially videos this month around the amour theme. I'll find you guys all in the comments below and you can also find my comment where I shared with you my most embarrassing flirty story in French. So go check it out and don't hesitate to share yours too. All right, if you're ready, sit back, grab something to drink, relax, c'est parti. The French have quite the reputation for knowing how to seduce, for being a very romantic population, just being really experienced in the game or the art of flirting. I would personally say from my experience, this stereotype is true. However, just because a single guy your age is flirting with you doesn't mean that he's about to grab you, toss you on the back of his Vespa, and whisk you away as their girlfriend. And just because your girlfriend's married, great aunt in her 70s is flirting with you constantly and saying all the time that her niece is so lucky doesn't mean that you found like a hidden cougar in the family that's just dying to get in your pants. Flirting is just not reserved for singles here and it's not reserved for the young. It's very age inclusive. The French of all ages, they appreciate beautiful, sexy, gorgeous things. They're comfortable with their sexuality. They're comfortable expressing themselves, talking about sex, talking about love. It's just very much an open culture about that, but it doesn't mean that it's serious when they talk about it. Flirting is just another fun way of communication. You've got to really embrace the flirt in French if you're gonna embrace the French way of life. And I said it in my video last week about the different personality types that wouldn't mesh with the French and shouldn't date the French. And one of them was someone who feels quite jealous in a relationship and somebody who feels quite insecure and doesn't have a lot of trust in relationships, the French you might wanna stay away from because even when they're in a relationship, they tend to be flirty, they stay friends with their ex, they like to, you know, play this type of communication cat and mouse game, but it doesn't mean anything serious is behind it. So you just kind of get used to it. The positive side of a culture that is very casual when it comes to flirting means that there aren't these like huge, well-known pickup lines that really work with a lot of men and women. So the flirty phrases and vocab I'm gonna give you really double down as a French lesson at the same time. If you feel like this is not enough and you are burning to learn more about French and the ways that you can kind of snag a French person's attention, Lingoda is the perfect opportunity for you. Lingoda is not an app. It is an online language school. Say it with me. It's an online language school because it is very different. And while there are tons of positives to just meeting a Frenchie in real life and improving your vocabulary while you're flirting with them, this is not always the case for everybody. So the next best thing is Lingoda. Online learning and online lessons mean so much flexibility because you've got classes 24 seven and basically all you need is an internet connection. Learning French opened up so many doors for me. It broke so many cultural barriers. It gave me opportunities to interact and, and create content in this amazing community on YouTube. Honestly, it was just seriously life-changing for me. So even if February isn't a month about amour, for you. And even if you hate Valentine's Day, make it a month about progressing in yourself and your language learning journey and taking some time for you. Lingoda has the most qualified teachers, they're all native speakers, really small class sizes, and the lessons are made by linguistic experts. I think you guys have all understood and you get the drill. You cannot go wrong with Lingoda. And on top of 
all of that fabulousness, Lingoda has right now a seven day free trial and a 30% off discount code on your first month of subscription classes or marathon courses. So if you're slightly tempted to improve your flirty vocabulary in French, if you wanna invest in yourself, if you wanna dive into a brand new language learning journey, or if you wanna pick back up an old dream that you tossed aside a while ago, check out Lingoda in the YouTube description. I put all of the links below and shared everything with you so that you can take advantage. All right, so are you guys ready to get into the five most successful flirty phrases that I've used? Pardon, uh, tu aurais un feu ou une cigarette? This may sound like a ridiculous phrase for flirting because I'm basically just asking someone if they have a lighter or if they have a cigarette, but whoa, the amount of people that you meet, if you're a smoker or if you're a non-smoker accompanying a friend outside to smoke is insane. You can't smoke in bars in France, which I think is the case in a lot of places in the world, meaning that people walk outside, it's kind of a secluded area and everyone's standing huddled together, especially in winter, smoking, borrowing a light, chatting, and it is the perfect way to meet people when you're inside a bar. Because something to keep in mind is when the French are in a bar, they don't tend to mix a lot. The mixing would happen in more of like a club. But in the bar, people are sitting at their own tables, talking, discussing. There's not as much, much of this interaction that you might have. So the smoke area is like the one place outside where everyone's kind of mixing around. Now, I'm not recommending that you go just to inhale secondhand smoke if you're not a smoker. But I used to go with friends because they'd have no one else to go with. They were smoker in the group and multiple times I met people there that turned into some romantic stories for a while. So do not underestimate this phrase. It was a highly successful when it went to meeting someone. Je peux t'offrir un verre? Can I offer you a drink? Yes, this is way basic, but it's not that basic in French actually. Because in France, buying a drink for someone that you don't know very well is actually sending a very strong signal that you're into them, that the casual flirting you might have had before is more than just casual like you're kind of interested in them in a more sexual way and it's not the case necessarily where I'm from in the US and maybe it's because in the Midwest I mean shots were like a dollar so people were buying shots for like the whole 10 people behind them versus in Paris where cocktails are like 20 euros and so you're probably not so likely to just give people drinks but in France I've really found no matter what area of France that I've lived in is when someone buys you a drink and you're not in like a one-on-one -on -one setting. It's a really good way of kind of showing your interest. It's a bit of a game changer. Tu sors avec elle? Tu sors avec lui? Sometimes it's really hard to know when someone's flirting with you if there's actually any intention behind it or if it's just some casual banter. So when in doubt, when you're in a bar, when you're in a casual in a setting and you've kind of hit it off with someone and you see that they might also be talking with other people or they might possibly be interested in someone else, you can ask them, tu sors avec elle? Tu sors avec lui? And you're just saying, are you going out with that person? Like, are you? did you come here with them? Are you with them? Are you dating them? And it gives you a bit of reassurance that you're not gonna have any problems later on in the soiree, because as much as a stereotype that the French are comfortable with infidelity and they don't mind, not true at all. If that guy or girl is here with their significant other and you're really coming on strong, at some point you might have some problems. So it's a really easy way of kind of showing that you care, that you're kind of interested and also making sure you're not stepping in hot water. Tu vas aller faire un tour? This like literally translates like, do you wanna go do a tour? But what it's really saying is like, do you wanna leave and take a spin? But the meaning you get from it is like, let's get out of here and go somewhere more private. So I love this phrase, it's pretty ambiguous. So it's a really good one to use when you're in a social setting with someone and you're into them and like conversations going good and you're just kind of ready for it to be more private. You're not necessarily stating like, let's go home together, but you are saying like, let's get out of here and go somewhere more private. So maybe that's like a one-on-one -on -one restaurant or something different, but I love this phrase because it comes off like you're interested, but it can come off really, you know, casual and sexy and, and easy to pull off. Okay, so I didn't have time to go through all of the love vocabulary or phrases like tu me manques, je te dors, j'ai envie de toi. So maybe it's a good idea for next week's video, we'll see. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. I can't wait to hear. Put your flirty phrases as well, what you use to really catch the Frenchie's attention. Let us know what you think about the flirting culture in France. I can't 
can't wait to hear everybody else's experience. Don't forget about Lingoda. I put the discount code in the description below. I also put the link so that you can find out more about the seven day free trial. So please go check that out if you're interested. I will also see everybody la semaine prochaine as we continue our month of amour together. Bisous!